Welcome to the Otaku Tainment Bar. I'm your Otaku bartender, The AC Stories, for this special alcohol and anime. For this episode of Bartender Glass of Gods, there are two featured drinks, the Old Pal and the Bull Shot. But for this, I will be making the Bull Shot. Of course, before we get to making the drinks, we have to see how the anime episode leads up to that point. In the first part of the episode, we see that Sasakura is helping out at another bar called La Pen, which is unfortunate for Iguchi and Kurishima since they're still looking to recruit Sasakura. Anyway, Sasakura at La Pen has a somewhat familiar customer, uh, the chairman of the hotel, coming by the 22nd of every month, which is the day the old owner died, which the chairman was old pals with. Unfortunately for Sasakura, the chairman doesn't like any of the drinks being made, and by the end of it has Sasakura go out to just get a sake from a vending machine. This of course troubles Sasakura, not sure why the chairman doesn't like the drinks, so has the chairman back and eventually is able to find a drink called the old pal, which resonates with the chairman because the chairman being older is more familiar and comfortable with drinks that are not as refrigerated as they are today. It's pretty much the main gimmick of the old pal, but it's nice, colorful, and it does look tasty, but that's not the drink we're making today. That leads us to the second part of the episode, where we'll get to the bull shot. Sasakura, Higuchi, and Kurishima are at Eden Hall again, and a kind of soap customer comes in. We don't get this customer's name, but we do figure out by the end this person is a lawyer. The lawyer is fed up with dealing with clients all day and doesn't want anything too much alcohol because tired of that. And if that's not an option, wants something really strong in alcohol. That is when Sasakura comes up with serving a bull shot, which I would make now. Now, the bull shot is a very atypical drink, and I'm not too familiar with it. And from what I know, Sasakura doesn't prepare it the traditional way it's supposed to either. The way Sasakura describes it in this episode is it's mainly just beef broth, beef bouillon, and vodka. But we see other ingredients throughout, like pepper and Worcestershire. So first, I'm just going to get the beef broth ready, which will, for me, be uh, three parts beef broth and one part vodka. So, and I'm making it kind of from scratch, a little powder beef bouillon. Ooh, already sizzling. It'll probably be different on whatever kind of beef broth you use. I'm just using what I already have in my house because most of these ingredients are actually fairly common. I even already had vodka, which... Normally, I would try to get the cheapest vodka, but I already had this, and what's cheaper than using what you already got? So there is my three parts beef broth, and then nothing fancy. Almost like I'm just cooking. I'll put in my one part vodka. Now, I'm not cooking it cooking it, because I don't want to cook out the alcohol. But just doing a little bit. Now we'll do a teaspoon of Worcestershire just from me, what I know about it. That seems to be the typical uh, ingredients used in it and the amounts. Just put that in there. And then pepper to taste, which I like pepper. So we're just going to crack a bit in it, just a nice coat. And then we're just going to let it heat up. Like I said, it's not going to take too long, and in the meantime, we'll just mix it together until it really just starts to bubble or sizzle a bit. You can already start to see the steam coming off of it, so it really won't take long at all. And there we see the bubbling, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop it, turn it off. Now I got a nice little cozy mug. All I'm going to do, just ladle in a bit because I'm the only one drinking it. So I didn't need to make too much. Just get a bit in there. Now look at that. Oh, it looks tasty. It looks pretty much just like soup, because I guess it is. Now let's give it a try. Yep. It tastes like 
beef broth a little bit. Don't taste the vodka at all, so I guess if it's a cold day, which it's not anymore, nope, this is still something nice, and if you can't taste alcohol and pretty sure it's not cooked out yet, this is worth a try if you're interested. So that is the bull shot. In the episode, it's also called One for the Road. I'm not going where today, but I'm going to finish this because it's tasty. But that is it for this special episode of Alcohol and Anime. I've been your Otaku Bartender DAC Stories. Thank you so much for visiting the Otaku Tainment Bar. I look forward to you coming again.